Hey everyone and welcome back to Live A Little. This week I'm going to show you how to make an easy little banner using heat transfer foil. So to start off, we are cutting out our heat transfer foil on the Scan and Cut machine. I'm just doing a simple design that says happy birthday. Once it's done cutting out, you're gonna take your vinyl weeding tool from Embellish and you're gonna go ahead and weed away the excess foil. Now you might notice here that I actually forgot to mirror image the text when I was cutting it out. So it is actually backwards. And I did this two times. Uh, I was just super distracted and kept forgetting to do a mirror image. So if you wanna know how to mirror image your text, I will link uh, one of my past videos here where I show you how to do that on the scan and cut but I didn't actually get a full clip of me weeding out the uh, correct foil, but it's the same thing, it's just my text was the wrong way. So this is me weeding it out, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my cardstock. Um, I love using the Scan and Cut because it's so easy to cut out any kind of material. Just make sure you're changing your settings on the blade and the machine to compensate for the heavy cardstock. So I'm just cutting out this little banner shape. Make sure you cut off enough cardstock for all the letters in your words. I did one extra just to be safe. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out some holes in the top of my cardstock with a hole punch. And then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna snip each letter individually out from the clear carrier sheet. And then you're just gonna go ahead and apply it on to the cardstock one by one. Make sure you're using a low setting on your iron and hold it down for about 10 seconds in place before releasing it. And it's very important to note that when you peel away the clear carrier sheet, it needs to fully cool down. So don't peel it away right after you've ironed it. And I'm going ahead and taking some kitchen twine and I'm stringing it through the holes. And you can use some embroidery perfection tape to stabilize the twine behind the design so it doesn't kind of slip and slide when you hang it up. And there's my finished banner. Mm -hmm. 